Hi friends, in this video we learn about uh, probability of error of FSK modulation. Before uh, finding probability of error of FSK modulation, we must know what is bit error rate and uh, when the error will happen in digital communication, right? So we know that in digital com communication we are transmitting the bits, right? So first we must know what is bit error. Bit error is nothing but uh, the change in bit. Excuse me. So bit error. What is bit error? First we must define what is bit error, right? So bit error is the number of received bits of data stream over a communication channel that have been altered due to noise, interference or distortion, right? So it is uh, the number of bits or the number of received bits. The number of uh, received bits number of received bits of data stream of a data stream right that was that has been transmitted over a channel that has been transmitted over a channel altered it is a number of received bits of a data stream altered how it is altered due to noise or distortion or interference all right so when we transmit a bit over a channel the bits may be altered right so how many number of bits are altered that is given by bit error rate next we have to uh, bit error now we have to define bit error rate in detail bit error rate bit error rate is nothing but ber right so bit error ratio or bit error rate right so it is the what do you call the number of bits number of or number of errors right so number of bits are number of errors right divided by the number of bit errors divided by the total number of bits transmitted total number of bits transmitted right during the during the uh, particular interval during the particular interval fine okay so let me explain this with uh, example right okay what is that let us assume we transmit one zero one zero one zero one two three five seven eight nine ten right so three five seven ten so totally we transmit ten bits okay so these bits are received by the receiver but what it is received is uh, 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 right so this is the bit transmitted this is the bit received what happens here here first three bits are altered remaining bits uh, have been received as it is so what is the bit error rate here is here three bits are incorrect and totally 10 bits are transmitted so it is b is equal to number of bit errors how many bit errors three three bits are error bit divided it is number of bit errors divided by the total number of bits how many number of bits are transmitted 10 bits are transmitted so what is the bit error rate it is 0.3 right so r 0.3 or we can call it is a 30 percentage of error okay so it is called a bit error rate next we define what is probability of error right bit error probability or pe is probability of error or bit error probability bit error probability right so probability of error or bit error probability of particular modulation scheme which is given by it is the expectation value of bit error rate or bit error ratio. 
right? So E of bit error ratio is known as uh, what do you call probability of error. So now we are going to study bit probability of error of uh, what do you call FSK. But uh, in addition, we have to learn other uh, probability of error also because that will be useful in exam. So probability of error of uh, PSK modulation is P is equal to one by two complementary error function in of root e b by n naught for a s k it is probability of error is equal to 1 by 2 r e r f c into 1 by 2 root of e b by n naught for f s k modulation b f s k probability of error is again 1 by 2 e r f c root of 1 by 2 e b by n naught. So, e r of f c is nothing but complementary error function, right? Okay, now we solve one gate problem from this area. Okay, so this question has been asked in gate 2014. Okay, what is the question? Here the question is, uh, a yeah, coherent uh, orthogonal binary FSK modulation is used to transmit two equiprobable waveforms, right? And S1 of t, S2 of t, where alpha is 4 millivolt, assume AWG and channel with two-sided noise power spectral density N0 by 2 is 0.5 into 10 power minus 12 watts per hertz. Using an optimal receiver on the relation QV is equal to 1 by root 2 pi, integral V to infinity e power minus e squared, du the bit error probability for a data rate of 5000 kbps is so what they have given they have given coherent fsk modulation so the modulation is fsk modulation is fsk with the probable waveforms s1 of t s1 of t is equal to alpha cos 2 pi f1 of t s2 of t is uh, alpha cos 2 pi f2 of t where alpha value is that is amplitude of the signal is 4 millivolt so 4 into 10 power minus 3 volt right aw channel with the noise per spectral density is n naught by 2 is 0.5 into 10 power minus 12 watts per hertz right data rate they have given rb rb is equal to 5000 kbps what about probability of error bit error probability or probability of error so they are asking about probability of error we know for fsk modulation probability of error is pe is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 erfc into root we are of c of 1 by root root of 1 by 2 e b by n naught right so this is what uh, fsk modulation probability of error we know what are the data given n naught by 2 is given so this implies n naught i want e b e b and n naught n naught by 2 is given n naught is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 12 this implies i want 2 n naught denominator is 2 n naught so it is 2 into 10 power minus 12. Next I want is bit energy energy per bit. So energy per bit I have to find. So what is energy per bit? If I find energy per bit I can find the answer. So E B. So first I find if the signal is X of T A cos 2 pi F C T right that is the format of our signal right a cos r a sine right a cos 2 pi f1 t and a cos 2 pi f2 t so if i have a signal like this what is the energy we know energy per bit is given by 0 to tb bit duration and x square t dt right so this is the energy formula that we studied in signals and system so here i am not going from 0 to infinity I go from 0 to TB only. Why I am going from 0 to TB? Because bit duration is calculated for only particular 
duration like this so tv this is one this may be one this is another tv this is zero i don't need to calculate up to infinity so that's why i go for uh, integral from zero to tb so in general i find it, then i apply for my problem so what is that if i take this it is zero to tb x of t is a so a squared cos squared 2 pi f c t dt right so if i take a squared outside 0 to tb this one cos squared i write as 1 plus cos 4 pi cos squared theta is 1 plus cos 2 theta so for cos 4 pi f t right divided by 2 right so if it is fc you can put fc also no problem whatever it be okay so what i do so this one i take like this so if i simplify eb will be equal to a square tb by 2 this is what uh, bit energy right so this is the bit energy eb so for my problem what is a signal signal so you see what is the bit energy formula bit energy formula is a squared amplitude squared into tb by 2 so i have to find e is equal to e is equal to what a squared tb by 2 a is nothing but amplitude amplitude square so it is 4 into 10 power minus 3 square right so 4 into 10 power minus 3 square next to what i have to do i need uh, divided by 2 into tb i need rb i have rb i have means tb is tb is equal to 1 by rb so 5000 is 10 power 3 kilo is 10 power 3 so what i get is uh, it is uh, sorry it is 500 right so 500 means it is 2 into 10 power minus 6 right so 1 by 5 into 10 power minus 6 is it is a 2 it is 10 power 2 500 kbps so 5 into 1, 10 power 2 into 10 power 3 2 into 10 power minus 6 so what i get is tb is 2 into 10 power minus 6 so 2 into 10 power minus 6 so if I simplify E B will be equal to 16 into 10 power minus 12. This two, this two will be cancelled. So E B is equal to 16 into 10 power minus 12. Now I apply in the formula. What is that? What is P E? P E is equal to 1 by 2 E R F C. Right. Uh, next uh, uh, what is that? root of uh, eb 12 into 10 power minus 6 2 n naught 2 n naught is given 12 into 10 power minus 12 right right this is 2 into 10 power minus sorry 16 it is 16 16 into 10 power minus 12 2 n naught is 2 into 10 power minus 2 2 n naught is 2 into 10 power minus 2 eb is 16 into 10 power minus 12 so both the things will be cancelled right so it is equal to 1 by 2 uh, erfc it is uh, 8 uh, it is uh, 4 by root 2 numerator is 16 16 is uh, 4 this is 4 by root 2 p probably of error so probability of error is 1 by 2 ERFC 4 by root 2. But what they ask, they have given error function in, and in answer they have given everything in Q. Right? So what is the relationship between PE and Q, ERFC and Q? Because I got error, error in ERFC, but they ask error in Q. So what is the relation? That relation we have to write. Okay? So we know that, Q of x. This relation you must remember. Q of x is equal to 1 by 2 R E R F C, right? X by root 2. Fine. So compare both the equations. So 1 by 2 E R F C instead of x, what I have? 4. 
so i can write pe as q of 4 right 1 by 2 your fc x by 4 by root 2 is q of 4 so probability of error is q of 4 so the answer is let us check whether it is q of 4 is there yes q of 4 is there option c is the right answer right so this is one of the critical problems asked in gate 2014 so i hope you understand this concept if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section i will clarify thank you